We're Maria, Lucas, and Griffin, a military family always looking for an adventure. Follow our journey as we move across the globe from Tennessee to Germany. Find your trail and blaze it. Good morning. Morning. So today the movers are coming to pick up our household goods. Um, so household goods, that's all of your big furniture um, and things you're not going to need right away after you move. So uh, last night we were up late uh, organizing everything, mm -hmm. trying to separate what we want to go in the unaccompanied baggage, which, which is the express shipment that gets there in about four to six weeks versus the household goods that gets to our location in like six to eight weeks. So last night we were organizing everything and um, got it mostly separated. Yeah, yeah, I think it went, we got it done faster than I thought. <clears throat> we stayed up till midnight. I thought we were gonna be staying up till three. <laughs> and then we got up around seven. Um, we've just been working around this morning. They come at nine, which is in an hour. I'm gonna run to Duncan and get some donuts because I've heard that, you know, you should butter them up a little bit, you know, so they do a good job and that, you know, they're not rushing and breaking things and things like that, so. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna get them some breakfast and donuts and coffee and then we'll probably get them some lunch and stuff later. Yeah, depending on how long they're here. Griffin is still asleep, thank goodness. He's gonna go to my friend Becca's house um, because he doesn't need to be here. It's too yeah, crazy. That's probably a good tip. <clears throat> if your yeah. kids can go somewhere else away from the house mm -hmm. while the movers are here, that's probably a good idea so that they're not yeah. in the way, they don't, you know, they're not tripping over boxes yeah. or playing you know, with their toys when they need toys. to be packed up. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Well So yeah, we'll we'll show you um, a walkthrough here in a second. Um, so mainly we have stuff divided into our pack zones and our no pack zones. So it's important to set aside a few rooms as your no-pack zone. So that's your stuff that you're keeping for the next shipment for the unaccompanied baggage. Um, and yeah, so. So here's our living room. We took everything off the walls and took our outdoor flag off last night. Um, so yeah, we just took down our TV. They suggest you take the base off your TV as well. Um, for packing purposes. Couch is going today. Everything that's out is going today. Um, the table there, all these toys, which are way more upstairs. Dining room, so we took a lot of things out of the kitchen, put them on this table. Um, this is other things like my candles, hopefully they take them. Um, more wall hanging, step stools, the half bath trash can. Let's see, um, another tip we had heard was put all the stuff from your drunk, junk drawer into little baggies and some batteries. I mean, we don't know what they're gonna take. They might be leaving a lot of things behind. We will just have to wait and see. Okay, dining room, all the stuff. <laughs> and this is things that are going today again. Um, all our things we just don't need right now. Um, and then this is a no pack zone, our laundry room, and like they can't take cleaners, cleaning supplies, and already opened up things. I don't think they take any cleaning supplies. Toilet paper. We're not taking our washer and dryer, so that is staying in there. So yeah, I put notes on the doors that say like, do not pack, do not pack this room. Kitchen, um, those three squash, <laughs> yeah, they're not going. I brewed some coffee, um, took everything off the fridge. Our back deck, we took everything off the back deck that is going to go and we left things on the back there that would stay. Uh, another no pack zone, food. I mean, you can take food, unopened food, but we don't really have that much right now, so we're just gonna eat it all. Another, this is our half bath full of kitchen things and then this one is like closet for like coats that we need to take to Germany with us and other things that we gotta just keep with us right now. I'll go ahead and show you this room. It's uh, 
full of other kitchen. These are kitchen things that we're gonna keep right now and then take with the unaccompanied baggage. We recommend you provide food or snacks for the movers. The movers bring their own packing supplies. If there are certain things you want to pack yourself, you can do so beforehand. They will also label everything with a brief description and location of where the item was in the house. Our movers were very fast. They started at 8.30 in the morning and was done by one o'clock that afternoon. After all the packing is done, make sure to walk through your house to note any damage so you can be reimbursed. Once everything is packed up, it will then be loaded into wooden crates and onto a truck. Okay, good morning. So today we have the unaccompanied baggage shipment. Um, the movers are coming today sometime between eight and five. Uh, so the unaccompanied baggage, that's mainly your um, kitchen stuff, your clothes, uh, bathroom things, bedding, TV, stuff like that. So what we did is we tried to get uh, everything put in one room. So I'm gonna paint around and show you some of the stuff that we, we got. So over here, we got most of our kitchen stuff, plates, um, glasses, silverware, things like that. And then we tried to get Take your kitchen appliances such as like an instant pot, um, slow cooker, griddle, things like that. Um, we also got our bathroom stuff, so shower curtains, liners, um, bathroom towels, things like that. Uh, you can take one TV, uh, it has to be preferably a smaller TV. Uh, we have a 42 inch, so we're gonna try to ship that and hopefully it's not too big. Uh, you can send some camping chairs, a fan, and some cleaning stuff. So we got like a broom, vacuum, things like that. Also, you can take some tools. So I got my toolbox down here. Um, so in case whenever you get there, you want to hang up some pictures or things like that, or do any repairs. So get a clips of Griffin. Got a DVD TV. player. <laughs> yep. And then last, we have like our bedding stuff. So. We took everything off of hangers, so we wanted to ship the hangers so they didn't take up so much space in our baggage. So we've got hangers and pillows, blankets. Sleeping bags sleeping in the bag. back. So yeah, that's what we got Shoes so far. Shoes that you're not gonna take in your mm -hmm. luggage. Um, yeah. Yeah, so um, some things to think about, you wanna make sure you have enough space with your luggage. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to leave too much stuff behind and then realize, yeah. you know, you don't have enough space. Yeah. So we tried to send as much as we could, try to be minimal, and yeah, it's that's hard. It so far. It it's is really hard. hard. To, for me, the hardest thing has been the clothes because you're just not sure what you're going to need, you know, because we're leaving here at the end of October. In the end of October, it can still be, I mean, 70s and in Germany. It's gonna be like a 45 when we get there. So that's like winter, apparel, like heavy coat, sweaters, and so it's like you have to pack almost for two seasons, mm -hmm. even though it's yeah. the same season, but yeah, yeah. because right now it's still pretty warm here. Mm -hmm. you know, it's like in oh, the yeah. 70s, sometimes 80s, so we still yeah. are wearing shorts and t-shirts mm -hmm. while whenever we get there, it'll probably be you know in the 40s Pants, and 30s. So jackets, we're have scarves, winter, gloves. Winter clothes. Yeah. So, but, yep. Yep, that's how it goes. So, cool. We'll check back later and uh, an update of all the things that the Yeah, so doing. it is, um, what time is it? 10.37. They said any time between 8 and 5, which I hate sitting around waiting, but hopefully they come soon because we got plans for today. Yeah. So. Cool. See you later. See you later. The movers for the unaccompanied baggage do the same type of packing as the household good movers. Everything is boxed and loaded onto a truck. It can't weigh more than a thousand pounds. If it's under a thousand, it can go by air. If it is over a thousand, it will go on a boat and take longer.
Before sending your unaccompanied baggage, we recommend packing all your suitcases to see how much room you will have. That'll determine what you can and can't take on the plane. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.